Hello again, Scott Schrader with On3 and WeRSC.com. And uh, we're going to give a, another random recruiting rant a shot here. Um, it'll involve some, some other stuff besides USC recruiting. But uh, we're going to start off with, um, we published an article today at WeRSC uh, about how USC is trending for four running backs, uh, four of the top running backs in the country. And three of them happen to be from the state of Texas. And, you know, it's, it's well documented that USC's done, you know, they've hit Texas pretty hard and, and, and scored pretty good in the Lone Star State, especially for running backs. Um, and, you know, last year USC had uh, Quentin Joyner and uh, Amarion Peterson verbally committed by the end of this month, end of April of last year. Um, and, you know, they took their official visits in June and it was a wrap. You know, they signed in December. So right now there's uh you got Brian Jackson, who we're about to make a prediction a USC prediction for. He's gonna be announcing on April twenty first. He just visited USC again. It was like the fourth time. And he is coming back for an official visit on June seventeenth, sixteenth, seventeenth. I'm not I don't think that it's either the sixteenth or the seventeenth. It's gonna be another one of those long weekends where they're gonna kinda of stagger the guys when they come in some will start on, on on a friday and some will come in on on a saturday and then conclude their visit uh, late sunday night um and so uh nathaniel palmer anyway brian jackson's from mckinney high school uh and then you have nathaniel palmer who has now visited usc twice he, he was just at usc april 8th for the saturday scrimmage that they had at the coliseum um so he's also looking forward to coming back for his third visit which will be an official visit uh, also on June 16th or 17th. So those two Texas running backs will, will be visiting at the same time. And there was at one time, Taylor Tatum, who is the number two ranked running back in the nation, was scheduled to take his official visit, he thought, on June 16th, but he just informed me today that he's going to be taking it the first weekend in June. Um, and we should also let USC fans know that uh, that Taylor Tatum will also be at USC this Saturday for the spring game. He actually just reminded me this morning by a text that he will be there still. Um, so he'll be taking his official visit like around June 2nd. So those are the three Texas running backs. The fourth one is Nathaniel Frazier um, from uh, Modern Day High School, a running back I really, really like a lot. And he's just, right now, you know, I, I think if USC were to pursue and, and, and really come after him hard, I think USC would be a, a school that you know, would be at least one of his top two or three schools. But uh, right now, USC's not recruiting him that hard. And again, you can only bring in so many running backs. And, um, you know, again, the, the spring evaluation period is coming up. And, and, and what USC is looking for could change by then. But I, I think that Kyle McDonald is, is kind of, he recruits guys for several years. And, and, and these guys that we were referring to um, from Texas, you know, he's really had a relationship with those guys for a long time. So anyway, it, you know, if I had to make a prediction at this point, which I don't have to, but if I did, um, you know, I would say two of, the, two of those running backs um, w w would be the guys likely to end up signing with USC. Again, there's going to be some other guys that are, Stacey Gage said he was going to come for a visit. He's, I think he's the number one ranked running back. If not, he's one of the top three, depending on the network we're talking about. But I think at on three, he's number one. Um, so, and, and there, there's, there's, there's a few other guys that could end up visiting as well and work their, their way into scheduling official visits. So they're actually just kind of putting together the, that big, massive weekend in June that they'll, they'll have. Last year, they had 25 guys, ended up signing 14. Uh, the, the, fi the final guy I added to that class was Deuce Robinson. So, um, with recruiting, you never know how all this stuff's going to play out. Um, there's, there's visit dates that are changing and, and everybody's just trying to figure out where they're going to visit at this point, you know, for the remainder of the spring and summertime. But anyway, I just wanted to touch on those running backs to start this off with. Uh, the, the interest from those three Texas running backs is really strong. So, um, again, we think Brian Jackson, when he announces on April 21st, we, we would predict it's going to be USC. And then between Taylor Tatum, I think is really serious about Georgia and Michigan as well. He's already got an official visit set for Michigan. So I think that that one's going to be a battle. But his interest in USC is very, very strong. I think he his official this this weekend visit for the spring game, I believe, will be Taylor Tatum's second. Uh, I, I don't have my cheat sheet with me. My phone's not 
on, on the database right now for on three. But um, also, this Friday, there's going to be a big announcement, I'm told, for name, image, and likeness. A, a, another collective is going to be joining the ranks of uh, spreading some some financial love to the University of Southern California student athletes. So, uh, and, and there is likely going to be another one. It could happen as soon as Saturday for a, another USC NIL collective. Um, I haven't gotten that firmed up on when the announcement's going to come, but we're going to learn a lot more tomorrow about this. Um, and of course, when the announcements do happen, we will have stories ready to publish and share what we know about these collectives with y'all. Um, and then also there's there's going to be some some offensive linemen that, that that are going to be coming up and making some visits here in the upcoming future and we just kind of wanted to go down the list of, of of the guys at least on the west coast which is a really really good year this year for offensive linemen on the west coast especially if you just look at modern day high school you've got brandon baker and you've got deandre carter um, deandre was just at usc again this past weekend and I don't know what number of visit that was, but it, it was, it was, it's, we're now approaching like a dozen visits that he's had in the last two years. Brandon Baker's been to USC eight or nine times and he will be back again. He, he won't tell me whether he's taken an official visit to USC or not because he feels like it's a local school and he'd like to take his official visits to see places that are maybe a little bit more challenging to, to travel to. Um, so I wanted to start off with that. And as, as, as far as, the spring game is concerned. Um, we just announced that, that Cortland Ford is, is intending on transferring. Um, then, you know, that, that really kind of bummed us out. We uh, had a relationship with, with him and his family now going on you know, four years um, from, from the day that he announced his, his commitment to USC. I was actually over at their home in, in, in Cedar Hill, Texas. Um, that night, and so I got to meet their family, just a beautiful family. Um, they are now living in, in Illinois, back where they're from. Um, and I would take, I would look out for, for Kentucky, possibly Ohio State. And I, I think that, uh, you know, there's going to be some schools that are, are going to be definitely showing some, some interest in, in Cortland. And of course, we wish the best to him. Look forward to watching him crush it and wherever he ends up next. Um, and also a couple other items that, that were, that, were posted on our site today. I, I, you know, sometimes these rumors get out about, about stuff that is happening. And there was apparently a rumor, um, about Dean Ingram from Wisconsin being a possible transfer, a cornerback transfer to, to USC. And, and, and that is not a, uh, that's not an accurate rumor. USC is not pursuing him. And I, I, I'm told they, they don't plan to. So also wanted to get that out of the way. Remember, this is the random recruiting rant. So now I'm kind of like searching for stuff. I actually had, had a couple of things on my mind that I was going to talk about. And uh, I got caught up because we're going to be adding somebody to our recruiting team starting tomorrow. Uh, Marshall Levinson. He was helping out with the Texas A&M site. And uh, we are now going to get him and he is going to focus... 100% of his attention on USC recruiting so we can offer more content on a daily basis. Another awesome part of him, of Marshall joining our team is he's located in Dallas, Texas. So we now, and he's not, he's, he's going to remain in Dallas, Texas. Um, so we'll have somebody that can, can go out to high schools in, in Texas as well as myself and others in California, which that's actually a, a really big deal to me. I, you know, I love going to Texas. I love the people there. I love going to high school football games in Texas, but it gets to be a bit too much when you start traveling to the, to the level I have. And I just wanted to also talk about this. Um, we got the spring game, April 15th, April 15th is kind of like the official day that college coaches can start hitting the road and visiting high schools. It's April 15th through May 31st. What I am going to do is I'm going to hop in my car, start on the West coast and travel uh, to numerous states and visit all of the high schools of the top targets that USC has. So obviously we're going to be in Nevada, we'll be in Arizona, we'll be in Texas, we'll be in Oklahoma, we'll be in Georgia, um, North Carolina, Missouri, Illinois, um, Washington, D.C. area is where I will finish my trip. We'll see if I end up going to Florida or not. Um, I'm probably missing a state, but you guys get the general idea. 
I will, I will be traveling for several weeks and kind of try and do my best to provide some unique content for our subscribers at wersc.com. Um, there was a new Big Ten commissioner that was announced yesterday. Um, I don't really know that much about this guy, but he was apparently a former commissioner of, of Major League Baseball. So it's going to be interesting to learn more about him and how that might potentially impact expansion if there are any plans for that in the Big Ten. You know, Oregon and, and Washington fans, I think, are are hoping that, that they can join the Big Ten as well. Um, I don't know how many of their fans. I know Oregon fans are definitely hoping to not remain in the Pac-12, and that may be where, where Washington fans are as well. They don't really care as long as they go to a... What, what you know, I think these other conferences are going to be far more competitive and just get far more eyeballs and, and more interest from fans across the country. You know, I don't know what the plans are for, for the Pac-12, but, you know, as long as the Pac-12 keeps being run the way that it is, and I, I you know, George Kliakov should get a break a little bit because he inherited an absolute dumpster fire from Larry Scott, but uh, it doesn't, it does, I mean, they're still trying to find a TV deal, and... You know, at this point, they were supposed to have one well before now. And the running joke is now you know, they're going to end up showing Pac-12 football games on Nickelodeon. Um, so, that, I mean, that's about it right now. There's not really a whole lot more. Uh, there were a couple other guys that did visit this weekend. Um, Xavier Jordan, I've touched on him already. Ryan Pelham, those are those are two of USC's top wide receiver targets. Um, there was a, a one top prospect from Georgia canceled his visit for the spring game, K.J. Bolden. He told me he's got a track meet on Saturday morning and he would not be able to make it, obviously, to a noon kickoff at the Coliseum for the spring game. So he's planning on rescheduling and coming out for another visit. Um, but right now, there's, you know, we, we don't really have a lot of guys listed on our visit list for the spring game yet. The list is going to get extremely long. and uh, But right now, you've got... Let's see who I've got listed down here. Um, we mentioned Taylor Tatum, borderline five-star running back from Longview, Texas. That's about two hours and 45 minutes east of Dallas. Braylon Conley, safety from Humble, Texas, is going to be at the University of Southern California spring game. Berlin Lillard from Bishop O'Dowd, he will be there. And I should also mention this. Um... Koi Beasley, who we have ranked considerably higher than the other networks. Charles Power has has Koi listed as, I believe, a top 100 prospect. He's a safety target for the University of Southern California. I keep saying University of Southern California <laughs> because I'm back east. And I have to program myself sometimes to talk that way. But USC. Um and, and he visited last week and stayed in town and was actually at USC again yesterday for practice. He's planning on taking an official visit to USC as well. So be on the lookout for Coy Beasley, a very, very talented safety from Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, it'll be interesting to see how many more schools start coming at him hard as well. Not that he's not being recruited by several you know, really big, big time schools, but, um, you know, George has offered. So, you know, George is going to offer. That's about as big time as you can purchase as you can get right now. So, um, it will it will be interesting to see how many of these local kids end up coming to the spring game. You know what has happened over the last five years, especially is, is a lot of these kids end up making travel plans, and you know so the USC will have its spring game at the Coliseum, but there's so many different spring games going on on April fifteenth. So. We'll see how many are are, are, are going to be coming back home between now and, and Saturday to end up going to the USC spring game. But the, the list will be long. It will be impressive. And then you'll have probably a lot of class of 2025 guys who aren't traveling as much as, as the class of 2024 right now. You know, And there's guys right now that are traveling all week during their spring break. Somebody like Dijon Lee, class of 2025 um, cornerback from Mission Viejo. He's doing all of his traveling, getting it all out of the way. He flies back home on Friday night, I'm told, by him. And he will be at the USC spring game. Um, this is one of Coach Dante's top targets for next year. Um, and just to kind of go give you a preview of, of June, May 12th, I should mention this, May, May 12th, Fox Crater, 
offensive lineman from Washington committed to um, to Oregon. He's going to be on a two day visit to USC. So, uh, you know, oftentimes these these guys when they come on these multiple day visits, you know, they're they're pretty serious about it. Um, I'm not going to say he's wavering on his commitment, but some of these guys did commit when Adrian Clem was still the offensive line coach at Oregon. So, um, you know, stuff like that does matter. Mike Matthews, a five star wide receiver from Lilburn, Georgia, will be also taking his official visit on June 16th. Uh, Jalen Harvey, a, a four-star edge from Potomac, Maryland. He's actually from Quince Orchard High School, which is in Gaithersburg. For, for, you, for, for those of you that know Maryland and know the D.C. area, you'll know where that is. It's, not, it's actually a school that's, that's fairly close to Good Counsel, one of the, also one of the powerhouse programs in the country. Um, and then Brian Jackson, running back from McKinney, he'll be on his official visit on that same June 16th weekend. So that's about all I have for today. I kind of really rambled this time. I had a list of stuff I was going to talk about, and I I left it somewhere not near me. Now I'm too lazy to go find it. So anyway, that's it for today. That's just kind of our, our latest rant. Um, I should also mention, you know, Cliff Kingsbury was added to Lincoln Riley's staff as an offensive uh, quality control analyst. Um, and, you know, I don't know how much that's going to impact recruiting. Nobody knows how long that Cliff Kingsbury, I mean, last time Cliff Kingsbury was at USC for 30 days, maybe. Um, so we'll see how long. I would imagine this is, is a one-year deal. You know, some, some guys are talking about how he had like a three, four-year buyout worth of, you know, contract money. Um, so, you know, maybe, maybe he might take it easy in California for a couple of years, but, you know, I know that the quarterbacks at USC are thrilled to have him because Will Harriger, who ended up going back to the NFL, was was a, was a big part of the quarterback room at USC last season, and so was Connor McQueen, who is now the offensive coordinator at uh, I think uh, Incarnate Word. Um, I think that's in Houston, Texas. I, I apologize if I don't remember where that is, but um, again, this is just a random recruiting rant.